Welcome back to Going Upgrade My Way. Today's Thursday, the 8th or 9th or 10th, something like that. I don't even keep track anymore. I just know it's uh, cold out. Fall is here. Winter's not far behind. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, fireplace area is almost usable at the moment. Um, still waiting to do the roof. Uh, I started building, I built one truss the other day, um, got that ready, that's what I'm going to use to mock up the rest. Um, as you can see from the wet cement, I've almost finished all the, the rock work. I, uh, I did run out of cement, so I didn't finish the last section there. But uh, I ended up going with uh, corrugated metal and just some nice plain pine trim. Um... But yeah, that's that's what it's gonna look like, I and mean, then I'll have drywall above that once I uh, raise the walls and make the put the roof on. So I'll take you guys outside here in a second, and I'll show you uh, today's haul. As I was saying, it's been getting down to the uh, 30s at night, and uh, this morning when I came outside, it was only in the 40s or low 40s. So I. Uh, Went out to the garden, and the potato plants weren't doing good, so I pulled those up. They're not real big, but considering they've only been in the ground uh, 45, 50 days, they uh, had more than I was expecting. Uh, I got a couple dozen eggs out of the uh, chicken coop from the last two, three days. And I got a couple gallons of uh, cherry tomatoes here. Um, the reason we haven't been getting any out of the garden, because they haven't changed color, is because as soon as they start changing color, the chipmunks have been eating them. I chased a few of them out. And I pulled up the last of the carrots that were planted in the spring that didn't do very well. So, I just wanted to give you guys a, a sh quick view of that. Um, I've almost got this mess cleaned up back here. I got all the brush cut up as much as it's going to be. Uh, it's kind of windy today and it's been raining the last couple days so I haven't been able to burn it. Um, I got all the all the wood that I plan on cutting up for firewood stacked all the way around that tree and then I still got those uh, couple big pieces right there to finish cutting up and then I got another small brush pile back there that'll get moved as this pile over here in the fire pit gets burned. And then needless to say, uh, the kids will be here this weekend, so they'll be picking up sticks and leaves. Um, we did get another turkey egg today. They're uh, white and speckled. So I put those uh, in one of the nesting boxes. There is a hen laying on one of them. Um, the hen that we had across the street that had a nest, um, some critter got in there and ate most of the eggs. They're just just right over there. Uh, there was five left. I brought them back and I put them in that nest that the hen's been sitting in. Uh, I do believe it's a different hen than the one that was sitting on the blue eggs. So we'll see what happens. I don't currently have a rooster, so I don't know how some how some of those have been there a few weeks. So. We'll see what happens, like I said. Uh, I stood all this fence back up and straightened up these little posts a little bit. Still got to straighten them up a little bit better. Um, I might be getting a couple pigs. So the uh, the duck pen will be uh, probably getting used by the turkeys uh, at some point here. If, it, if the deal goes through and I get them for the price that I'm willing to pay for them. Um, or I might just split this pin in half and open up it into the uh, duck pin, which is more than likely what's going to happen, just so they have more room. Um, but I'll probably get I got to get some uh, solid fencing for this before I get pigs in here. So, like I said, it's it's just kind of all up in the air because right now there's there's spaces that the pig can go right under the fence right now. Turkeys could too if they really wanted to. They've been digging a lot. But uh, usually they just fly over top. 
and uh, he's a little irritated right now. Let's see if I can get him to stand up his feathers. There he goes. He's strutting his stuff. He don't like anybody by his girl. Needless to say, uh, the asparagus. I don't know how well you can see these. There's only a few left. The birds have pretty much eaten them all down to the ground. Um, this was full of it. But like I said, the birds the birds have been uh, making quite the mess lately. <sighs> so, still debating on what to do with these trees. We'll uh, figure that out once this mess is all cleaned up. Um, I'm thinking the uh, the chicken coop might be getting moved, and these pins um, redesigned a little bit better. Um, not a hundred percent sure yet. Like I said, I, I got a lot of plans, but I just got to see what's going to work best for the situation that I'm in when it's time to come and do it. Um, right now, I'm not messing with any of this stuff. So, hopefully, come spring, I'll uh, be in a better situation. Bills will be paid down. I won't have as many uh, much debt. And this part of the addition will be done. I can't wait for that. I got uh, the inside on this half of the house is pretty much gutted out. I mean, there's a few pieces of furniture, but until the time comes that's just gonna stay where it's at um, I'm gonna start building the uh, the knee walls here when as soon as I get a chance I've been like I said doing and doing and doing and doing and doing I haven't had much time to, to actually do everything so that's the plan um, we still got the six baby rabbits they're doing good. I brought them inside along with uh, the mother. Um, apparently, one of these black ones is a female. We uh, checked it the other day, which would make sense why we had 12 last time and six this time. So one of these fem one of these black ones is a female. Um, she's still pulling hair out, so I'm, I'm waiting on her to spit out a litter so we shall see what happens I'll have to uh, set up another another one of the cages inside because like I said it's just too cold outside when I found that other litter the, uh, the babies were pretty cold so I took them inside got them warmed up and now they're all doing good That's all I got for today. I just wanted to share all that stuff with you guys. I don't expect to get too many more tomatoes. Like I said, the plants are changing colors. The cold weather is coming in. Um, I'm going to start feeding the plants to the animals a little bit at a time. Uh, corn, I still haven't seen anything on. So I'm not expecting a whole lot out of them. I'll give that a few more weeks. If that doesn't do anything, then I'll be uh, starting to feed this to the rabbits too. So we're up to, uh, let's see, 19, 20 of them. And if we get another litter of five or six, you know, they're multiplying pretty quick. So all the free food I got laying around here, I should, I'm going to feed them as much of that as possible to cut down costs. So, but all right, I'll talk to you later before I start rambling.